morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Friday, June 26th, the feast day of Saint Anthem. Uh, he was Bishop of Belly, France, and um, I couldn't find what he's the patron saint of, honestly. I do not know. So that could be your challenge for today. Do better research than Kevin. Um, but I did find out that he is often de depicted in art by holding a lamp lit by a divine hand. Whatever that means. I assume the divine hand is God. Sounds reasonable. Today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 8, verses 1 through 4. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. When Jesus came down from the mountain... Great crowds followed him, and then a leper approached, did him homage, and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I will do it. Be made clean. His leprosy was cleansed immediately. Then Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. So we've got the we've got the cleansing of the leper this morning. <clears throat> Took place right as Jesus, uh, after he came down from the mountain. Again, recall, oftentimes in Scripture, whenever, uh, actually every time in Scripture, whenever Jesus is coming down from a mountain, he has just finished praying to God for a substantial amount of time. So to get away from the noise of the world and the crowds and everything else so that he can focus on his relationship with, with God the Father. Um, and then notice the moment he comes down, somebody needs him. Or somebody somebody's heart desires him and he want somebody wants to wants him to heal them. You know, kind of taking Jesus for, for granted. But not the leper. Um, and we'll get to that. So here is the <clears throat> reflection from Word Among Us this morning does just as good of a job as what I can come up with on this Friday. So here we go. It says, His leprosy was cleansed immediately. From the moment he exhibited signs of leprosy, this poor man was separated from his family. He had to ring a bell and call out, Unclean, whenever a healthy person approached him. Imagine the kind of life he was forced to lead. Not only was he coping with the physical effects of a terrible illness, but he also had to deal with the guilt, stress, and sense of isolation that came with his exclusion. And then there were the effects of knowing that so many people around him were now afraid of him. There was a good reason for isolating lepers, however. People in the ancient Near East knew that leprosy was an incurable and highly contagious disease. By approaching Jesus, the man risked infecting him and making him ritually unclean as well. To go ahead and do so anyway required both great courage and great faith. Imagine the joy this man must have felt at being both physically healed and freed from the social constraints of his disease. After getting approval from the rabbi, he could return home, get a job, and live with his family once again. His whole life had changed because he dared to ask Jesus for help. We may feel unclean at times or undeserving of the little blessings or certainly the big miracles that God wants to give us. We may hesitate to call out to Jesus for help, to ask for forgiveness, or even to try going deeper in our faith or drawing closer to Christ. We might avoid going to Eucharistic adoration because we don't believe God would speak to us there. Or we might go to confession but doubt that God has truly forgiven our sins. Just as this fellow courageously called out to Jesus and asked for healing, you can do the same. So come to Jesus, believe in your heart that he welcomes you and he wants to speak with you. Ask him to heal you. Right now, imagine him placing his hands on you and giving you an extra supply of his grace and healing power. Be made clean. Heal me, Lord, of whatever keeps me from you. Help me to believe that I am worthy of your love. So I thought that was a great reflection today to read. And um, the challenge, I think, came from... Um, of course, that ending there, but then also the, I like the phrase, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Um, you know, 
He doesn't de make demands of Jesus. Um, he just asks him in prayer. You know, this is how we should approach Jesus, which is hard sometimes, um, especially whenever you're in a, a spiritual rut or something. Um, but, but you know, asking the Lord um, in accordance to His will, rather than making personal requests and demands. And uh, this this lep this leper just shows humble surrender to whatever the outcome might be, because he asks him, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. If it's your will, you can make me clean. And so I, I think that's a great approach of what I've gathered from this, because um, your will and his will, um, your will and the will of God, uh, the goal is to always be in perfect alignment with each other. Uh, to give you that inner peace that so many people unfortunately never find or choose to never see and feel. Um, so there's the challenge, uh, all that together. Um, just uh, approach Jesus in courage and faith like the leopard did, and then uh, let God do the work. Amen. Have a great Friday. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen.